So we all know Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be absolutely massive and insane. We all know it is going to be absolutely huge in regards to the map itself. We're going to get into all of that today in regards to the world of Grand Theft Auto 6 and its location of Vice City. But before we get straight into this video today, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing as 89.4% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. You don't want to miss any of the latest and upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6 content, so please do make sure to hit that subscribe button. So getting into this video today in regards to the world of Grand Theft Auto 6 and its location of Vice City and the map itself, we all know it's going to be absolutely incredible and insane in regards to the size and scope of Vice City itself and its surrounding areas, but how big will it be and how will it shape up in comparison to Grand Theft Auto 5? So the information that we're going to go over today in regards to the map of Grand Theft Auto 6 and how large it will be is coming from Jason Schreier, who's a reputable games insider out from Bloomberg, and he actually came out with an article last year regards to Grand Theft Auto 6 and how massive it will be in comparison to GTA 5 and how much more detailed it will be in comparison to Grand Theft Auto predecessors. So in this article, Jason Schreier discusses topics related to Grand Theft Auto 6 and the crunch culture at Rockstar Games and how that was in comparison to Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 and how different it will be with the development of Grand Theft Auto 6, which is currently ongoing. The major discussion points from this article was, of course, in relation to Grand Theft Auto 6 and what the initial plans was prior to what the development is currently ongoing with Grand Theft Auto 6, that being taking place only in Vice City and its surrounding areas, which of course is the fictional place of Miami. Jason Schreier goes on to say, original plans for the title, which is codenamed Project Americas, were for it to be more vast than any Grand Theft Auto game to date. Early designs called for the inclusion of territories modelled after large swaths of North and South America, according to people familiar with the plans, but the company reeled in those ambitions and cut the main map down to a fictional version of Miami and its surrounding areas. Now, because this article was written prior to the leaks that came out last year for GTA 6 in September, of course, we did not know at that particular point in time where GTA 6 was actually going to be taking place, but we do know now, based off the leaks itself, that it is only taking place in fictional Miami, which is Vice City currently at the moment. It is interesting to see, though, that the plans prior to Vice City being the main location was, it to, was for it to include North and South America, which is absolutely insane. The fact that Rockstar Games would go that far and beyond with their ambition in regards to the next iteration in the Grand Theft Auto series being that large was, of course, too far ambitious for Rockstar Games to actually go with that prior to reeling in those ambitions and going with just Vice City and its surrounding areas. But it makes me think, and of course, it makes us think as well that post-launch after Grand Theft Auto 6 does come out, will we see inclusion of North and South America countries or continents or whatever it may be that can be included within Grand Theft Auto 6? I think that's something that's going to be very, very interesting and telling from Rockstar Games if that is something that they are going to implement within Grand Theft Auto 6 post-launch. This actually ties in perfectly to what Jason Schreier stated next, and he goes, Rockstar's plan is now to continually update the game over time, adding new missions and cities on a regular basis, which the leadership hopes will lead to less crunch during the game's final months. Still, the game's world remains large, with more interior locations than previous Grand Theft Auto games impacting the timeline. I think this one is definitely very interesting that we do know that Rockstar's plan is to actually add new cities over time. So in regards to previous videos on my channel, if you haven't watched it, please go check it out. It is actually in regards to seeing Cuba being added into the Grand Theft Auto universe post GTA 6 launch. Seeing that GTA 6 is going to be taking place in fictional Miami, down south from Miami and, Flo and the state of Florida itself, we actually do have a bunch of countries that are located, such as the Bahamas and Cuba, which could be featured in Grand Theft Auto 6. So if we actually take a look at the IRL map, we can actually see that Miami and the state of Florida is there. And then of course, down south from that, we can see the Bahamas, which is located very, very closely to Miami. And then down from there, we see we have Cuba. So potentially we could be seeing Havana, Cuba in Grand Theft Auto 6 post-launch as a new country city being added within the Grand Theft Auto 6 world. 
This adds so much possibilities to the world of Grand Theft Auto 6 and the fact that we potentially could be seeing stuff like the drug trade being incorporated within Grand Theft Auto 6 and moving drugs and trade between countries could be something that could be a new mission added within Grand Theft Auto 6 and due to this with that new city added we could be seeing a lot of versatile and new missions being added within Grand Theft Auto 6 and its online components. And up north from the state of Florida, we could be seeing other specific states in the United States being included within Grand Theft Auto 6 online post-launch, such as Georgia or even Alabama or even South Carolina being included within Grand Theft Auto 6 online. The possibilities are endless for Rockstar Games to implement these other specific different states within Grand Theft Auto 6 in the United States. I think this could be absolutely incredible to see if Rockstar Games do approach this in this way when Grand Theft Auto 6 and GTA 6 Online does launch for everyone around the world. The fact that with Grand Theft Auto 5 currently at the moment, we only do have Los Santos. And as you guys probably know, over the last 10 years that we have been dealing with Los Santos, it can actually get quite boring driving around the city of Los Santos and of course, Blaine County. And more specifically, we all do know that a lot of Grand Theft Auto Online players only stick to the city of Los Santos and don't actually venture out into Blaine County or even Polito Bay up north from Los Santos. The fact that we could be getting Grand Theft Auto 6 with Vice City at launch and its surrounding areas, and then after that, seeing other specific countries or even this case cities or states being included within Grand Theft Auto 6 after the launch of the game itself in terms of the online component, I think this could be absolutely incredible for players around the world as it will keep things fresh and liven up the game in terms of the world itself. I want to hear from you guys in that comment section below. What do you make of all of these specific details that have been discussed in this video today? Jason Try has laid out a lot of information in that article from last year specifically, and Rockstar Games seem to have a plan ahead for Grand Theft Auto 6 and its online component regarding the future of Grand Theft Auto as a whole and as the franchise for itself. But please do make sure to leave a comment below and of course like and subscribe to Project Vice. I'll be making sure to read a lot of your comments and of course please do make sure to turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6 content. But other than that guys, please make sure to have a fantastic day and of course stay tuned to the channel for any other updates in regards to Red Dead Redemption Remastered and of course any news following that with Grand Theft Auto 6. Hopefully Rockstar Games do come up with some more official details regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 and the future of its development currently at the moment. But that guys, please make sure to stay safe and of course have an absolutely fantastic day. Catch you later.